Hi, I'm Brian Nix, and this is Half-Baked Homilies, short-form meditations on the weekly lectionary readings. The Holy Spirit is essential to Christian living. In the Gospel reading for this week, Jesus is giving his disciples more words of comfort before he is arrested, beaten, and killed and buried. The reading picks up in, in John 14, 15 through 21. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world will see me no more. But you will see me because I live. You also will live. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Not only are there words of reassurance here of a helper to come, of Jesus' continued presence, and the assurance of love from the Father, there is also a call to action. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. It's one thing to say you love Christ. It's an entirely different thing altogether to actually live like it. I feel often as Christians we fall into the temptation of loving what Christ has done for us rather than Christ himself. We love salvation by grace, but we aren't crazy about the denial of self. We love the, the hope of a home with Christ in the world to come, but we're not crazy about suffering as the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous. We love the, that Christ came to us when our minds were perverted by the darkness of sin, but we don't want to go and, and suffer and help in the darkness of others. He has not left us as orphans. He has called us to live with Him now. As we meet together and break bread, and as we engage in the lives of others just as he did, if you love him, keep his commandments. Grace and peace.